Hello everyone and welcome to a special edition of my mukbang videos, my eating show videos. Can you tell what it's gonna be? Yeah? You so know, right? Well, I hope you just know based on the date that I'm publishing this. Oh, these are starting to get a little melty. It's pie day! Yay! Not only did I get some pie to feast on, I also figured it would be appropriate. Oh, so many of you are gonna think this is disgusting. <laughs> oh, pineapple pizza! Because I figured, when the moon hits the sky like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Um, so I figured it was only appropriate because I was like, I can't eat a meal of just pie, that's ridiculous. So, I mean, why not eat a meal of a pizza pie and then some actual pie, right? Like, I just think this is great. Hopefully the pie doesn't get too melty on me. It was an ordeal <laughs> trying to get food home today. It really was. Oh, but I'm so excited. So, first things first, I should probably get this lipstick off of my face because... I just, that's gonna be a mess. We'll see. There, I blotted it. Does it look ridiculous? Probably. But that's okay. Alright, I'm so excited even though it looks like they burnt this a little bit. I'm gonna ignore it because pineapple, pizza, I know so many people, they think this is absolutely disgusting. You know, no cheese, just sauce and pizza crust. And pineapple, double pineapple at that, but like, it's so good. I don't know, you guys. I think I talked about this in my Papa John's mukbang. But I love pineapple on pizza. And I know so many people don't. And that's okay. I'll eat it for you. Mmm. Mm-hmm. So how is everybody? Happy Pie Day, like I said. Are you guys doing anything special to celebrate? Are you eating some pie? I hope you are. It's a great excuse. March 14th, 3.14. Oh, what would it... I wish I knew what the actual, what is it, 3.14, is it like 1.5 or something? That would have been an epic fig. If you knock over my ring light, oh my god. But I feel like that would have been an extra epic year. Like on the 14th of March of whatever, fill in the date at the end. That would be a great pie day. I also got a garlic dipping sauce because, come on now. I don't know if you could see that spurt at me, but so good. Just get a little bit of that on there, you know, just a little. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I feel like I think Jacob was telling me. That Albert Einstein's birthday is on Pi Day? March 14th? Really? I think that's great. I mean, it really doesn't matter, but... <laughs> I mean, can you imagine if he was born on Pi Day and was like, Well, I guess I have to be a mathematician now. That would be ridiculous. Hey. Hey. 
I already fed him. You act like you haven't seen me in years, Fig. I was gone for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, I think I was telling you guys. It was kind of quite the ordeal to get all of this. I mean, it really wasn't that big of a deal. But, like, I went to Domino's. I picked up my order. And then I went to Bigger Square. I got my pie. And then... When I was in the car, I was going to throw my garlic dipping sauce into the bag that the pies came in because easier to carry. And they had put the sauce upside down on my pizza box. They had given me ranch. and did not want ranch. <laughs> so I went back to Domino's and I was like, hey, you gave me the wrong sauce. Can I have garlic instead? And the guy acted like I asked him for like five free pizzas. It's like, I just want my sauce. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine if I had ordered this for delivery and it got to me and it was the wrong sauce and they had to drive all the way back, get the right sauce and come back, like, that would be ridiculous. Granted, if that had been the case, I don't know that I would have made them go through that just for the sauce. But, like, any of my fellow sauce aficionados out there that enjoy a good dipping sauce, it makes a difference. We like what we like. But, so, yeah, that was the RDL. It really wasn't that big of a deal. <laughs> Like I said, but worth sharing, right? Oh. Mm hmm. But yeah, did I already ask you guys what you're eating? You should let me know in the comments down below. I love, I love to hear that and read that. And I hope you're just having a good day in general. I haven't done, well, I've done a lot today, but, you know, nothing, like, hectic. I did a live stream, stream, that was a mix between stream and chat. I did one of those earlier today. It was a get ready with me. Mm. Yeah, so I did that, and then I filmed a video for the future. You'll be seeing this one first, but Gwynny B was sponsoring another video for me, so I filmed that. Yeah. And yeah. Here we are. <laughs> Well, I suppose I did some editing, too. But that's about it. So I got this shirt from Gwinnie Bee, and I'm like, I really want to keep it. <laughs> I really like it. Oh, well. We'll see. Maybe. Like, do I need another blousey blouse? No, but... I do like this one. Oh yeah. That's about it. I don't feel like I have anything too terribly exciting to share with you guys. It was my friend Katie's birthday last week. So that was fun. I just went out and got drinks and there's quite a few people there. 
I feel like maybe 15 or 20. And um, it was good. It was fun. A lot of people that I have not met before and people that I do know that I'm good friends with. It was so random at one point of the night, you know, we were all, we were all like sitting at a long table or whatever and um, you know, part of the table that I was conversing with, we were talking about one thing, and then the part of the table that was, like, next to me, we were talking about a completely other thing, like, you know, we weren't talking to each other, not purposefully, but, you know, that's just how it happens, and at one point, I was, like, telling a story about this one girl, I'm not gonna name any names, but we were reminiscing about high school, like, a lot of us had gone to high school together or whatever, and we were reminiscing about a girl, we'll call her Betty, it's not her name, I don't know that I know a Betty in real life, but we were talking about Betty, and I was, you know, telling the story about Betty, and then all of a sudden, like, while Betty's name was coming off of my tongue, I heard the guy that was sitting like kind of kitty corner across the way from me say Betty and Betty's last name. We'll call her Betty B. <laughs> so I heard him say Betty B and I was like, wait a minute, are you guys talking about Betty B because you heard us talking? And he was like, what? No. And I, like, what are the freaking odds that like two random groups of people we're talking about this super random girl that, like, none of us are friends with. Like, I mean, none of us dislike her. It's just, like, you know, we all went to high school with her. And, like, what are the odds that after almost ten years we just happened to mention her? She's not even at this gather. Like, it was strange. It was very strange. But whatever. There was also one point. <gasps> hmm. Do I dare tell this story? Hmm. I also don't know if I want another slice of pizza. I kind of do. It's so hard, like, it doesn't fill you up quite as much when it doesn't have cheese on it, but maybe I'll call it a night. I'll call it a night. I've got real pie. Let's eat some real pie. Mmm, I just love the seasoning blend that Domino's puts on their crusts. But, turn that out of the way. I don't know that I've had pie from Baker Square before. I really don't. I got two kinds. I got the chocolate peanut butter, because I mean, come on, chocolate peanut butter, right? Right. Here, let's, uh, let's cleanse the palate real quick. Ah, so nice. Yeah, fig, I know you're probably jealous. I did not get any fig pie, so, you know, bummer. But I got the chocolate peanut butter, and then I got, I forget exactly what it's called, but it's like called the ultimate pecan something or another. That, it just sounded delightful. I think it's like the caramel ultimate pecan delight. I, I don't know. But, so let's, okay, let's try the new thing first. So basically I think what it is, is that it's like French silk pie and pecan pie combined with caramel? What? What? Let's take a look at this. Yeah? Yeah? I'm down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The pecan is very subtle. But it's nice. I mean, <laughs> like, if you look up this pie online, 
the car or the pecan layer is like as big looking as this whole piece <laughs> and it's just like this tiny little strip in real life oh well and then we have the classic peanut butter I love a good peanut butter pie That's the one. Yeah. That's good. That's really good. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Whatever, I'll just tell this story. So, I doubt he's going to be watching this video. So, at the get-together, the birthday party, there was a guy that I haven't seen... Um... Five years, maybe? six years and uh, the last time that I had seen him was at a New Year's party and I really only knew him because he was friends with my friends you know what I mean so he went to college with like my friends Katie and Carmine and Jacob and all of them and I did not but I would see him at get-togethers and stuff you know okay so he let's call him Roger I don't think I know any Rogers. That's a lie. My dad has a friend named Roger. It was not that Roger. <laughs> it was a Roger that's my age. But so, I didn't know that he was going to be coming. I guess I could have assumed, but like, he came very late on into the party. But either way, he was at the party. And like, that was all fine and great, but like, at the New Year's party that I last saw him at, um... Okay, how do I say this? <sighs> Sometimes, when I drink too much, I just want to kiss everybody. <laughs> I ask first. <laughs> Don't worry. It's always consensual. But I really wanted to make out with somebody. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so stupid. But he was like one of the only guys at the party and I really didn't know him very well at this point I was just like Roger like we should really make out and I bugged him so much I don't think he was drunk like at all I was I sure was and I really wanted to smooch somebody and I was very persistent and probably very annoying I felt so bad when I sobered up in the morning but like either way I ended up smooching some other people. I mean, it was all good. It was all fine and dandy. Whatever. <laughs> that was a sloppy night. That was a very sloppy New Year's. That was, I feel like that was like 2011 or something. Yeah, because I think it was before I was legal to drink, but either way. That was the last time I saw him. And I think afterwards I had like Facebooked him and like apologized. Like, I am so sorry. Like, blah, blah, blah. And like, because... Roger is a very nice guy, you know, like very, uh, I don't know, he's just, he's a good guy as far as I can tell. I don't know him very well, but either way. <sighs> and so I messaged him and I was just like, I'm so sorry. And, you know, he's just, he's not the type of guy to just like make out with random people, which like I totally respect and appreciate. That night I didn't appreciate it because I just wanted to smooch somebody, but like in hindsight, I'm very glad, you know, that, whatever. Uh, so yeah. He was there, and I hadn't seen him since then, but it was all good. That's, that's the moral of the story. It was all good. <laughs> Neither of us mentioned anything, and we actually, like, hung out and conversed and all that good stuff quite a bit that night. So, yeah, all was well. Thanks for putting up with me, Roger. <laughs> Oi! Please, like, I know I'm not the only one. I feel like it's mostly, is it Molly that people get really touchy-feely with the drug? I've never done Molly. I've never done any hard drugs. But, when I drink too much, I just like to smooch people consensually like I said I mean I I always ask which I guess is a good thing you know oh that was a rough night that was the first night that I had ever gotten sick off of alcohol 
Mm-mm-mm. No fun. Hmm. I don't know. Now I'm kind of liking this pecan one better. Like, maybe the peanut butter one is too nutty? It's kind of weird to say about a nut-based pie. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Figaro is trying to eat my paper towels. That's good. That's totally what those are there for. But yeah, I think that was my story for the night. I hope you all enjoyed it. I feel like it would have been worse if Roger had, like, given in and been like, alright, let's go have a smoocheroo. I feel like it would have been worse if that had happened, and then I saw him after, like, six years, and it's like, hey, remember that one time we made out on New Year's? Good to see you again. You know? But I'm, I'm glad. Like I said, I'm glad. I'm not a one-nighter type of a person, so... Mmm. I can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. It's so good. So good. It's like a very good balance between sweet and salty. And I'm definitely a sweet and salty person. Mm-hmm. Can you tell by the pineapple pizza too? Sweet and salty. Sweet and salty. My water. Super sweet and salty. No, it's not. Should I have... This will be the last bite. The last bite. I'm starting to get full. Mmm. So good. So so good. I like I that was delicious. So yeah. That was the last bite. I hope you all enjoyed this mukbang. I feel like it was a weird mix of just silent eating and then story time with no eating, but hopefully that turned out okay. I hope you had a nice evening or day with me whenever it is that you decide to watch this. I hope you had some pie today if you are watching this on pie day. If anything, if you're watching this on a different day, I just hope that you enjoyed having a meal with me here and listening to me chit chat and whatnot. Or hey, if you just had me on in the background or if you watched me even though you weren't eating, I just hope you enjoyed this video. So if you did enjoy the video, found it helpful, enjoyable, whatever the case may be, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you are new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. I don't just do mukbangs. I do one mukbang a week, but the rest of it pretty much is like fashion and beauty. But you can feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you here. As always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you had a wonderful day or are having a wonderful day. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye.